Hi, this is Gali Gopar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you feel reflective because today our quote of the day is people who, ha who had little self-reflection live life in a huge reality blind spot by Brian McGill. Reflection is an active and serious thought process that examines your reason for believing in one thing instead of another through hard evidence. Reflection is an active and controlled thought process. It means focusing your attention on something and critically thinking about it. And why is reflection so important in our everyday life? Well, because without reflective thought on subjects that are important to us and on life in general, we would live life in the same way with never any change or improvement. No new technologies would come around and life would be the same without change. Although this may sound good for some people, it is not good for humanity as a whole. And when you stop evolving, you are really in the dying process. Re reflective thought allows you to imagine possibilities and consider new ways for things to happen. This type of thought process must be persistent and focused on one subject at a time. You must stick to one problem or one issue and make sense out of it in your mind. Have you ever thought to yourself why you think one way when you could be thinking another way just as well? Well, this is important as it allows you in the confines of your mind to see reality through perhaps different eyes. Maybe you think something is true, but if you reflected upon it, you would see that it is only an opinion and opinions can be changed, whereas truth cannot. Self-reflection amplifies self-awareness and this is a very humbling activity. While reflecting, you gain personal insight by examining your perspectives, your choices, your emotions and your actions and interactions. And then you can understand your motives and find the best path for you to move forward. Reflection is done through curiosity. You must be curious about the matter. When you are curious about yourself and your choices so that you can improve yourself, you become more aware of potential issues that may harm you. And when you become aware of something, only then can you really improve it. Therefore, self-reflection is the best process to help you reach your full potential. Rethink, re-examine, reconsider your behaviors and where they came from. Allow yourself to notice if you missed anything before that was not evident to you previously. The focus of your reflection can be on something that is not working well in your life at the moment or something that is working extremely well in your life at the moment. This self-reflection will help you pause any further actions in the field of life that you are not making progress in and allow you to find out why you are thinking, saying, and doing certain things. And once you understand why you are having a certain, why you are behaving in a certain way, you can easily improve your behaviors to ones that will benefit you rather than harm you. And when you reflect on something that is working, you will see which behaviors, thoughts, and actions are benefiting you, and you can use them more often. Whenever I find myself after a situation that doesn't didn't make me feel good, or I wake up with a certain unexplainable bad feeling, I reflect on my actions of the previous day and examine my thoughts, actions, and behaviors to see what my intuition is trying to tell me about them. This is self-reflection. It helps you understand yourself better and your choices better. Once you understand yourself better, you also become naturally more assertive and simply happier. You have more self-love and self-understanding and self-respect as to why you are doing what you are doing and you can then continue down a path that is unique for you and good for you. And this is where your power lies. By self-reflection, you are judging yourself instead of accepting other people's judgment on a matter. And this is very powerful, both for business and for personal life skills. 
Self-reflection must come from real openness and by choosing to pay close attention to something. This allows you to admit not knowing perhaps something and this not knowing opens up opens you up to new ways of thinking and behaving. And when reflecting, you will notice that the most that most of your beliefs do not come from you learning a, a subject or understanding it or your personal experience, but that m most of your beliefs are actually taken on through faith in other people's beliefs. So you want to ensure that you are taking on beliefs that either come from your own personal experience or knowledge or from credible sources. And if they do come from credible sources, then you can still search for good reasons to accept or reject their expert opinion. When you get a doctor's opinion, for example, uh, on, on a certain matter, then they say what they think is best for you to do in your case. And you can search the internet today and see uh, if other doctors also recommend the same thing and if this is really a good idea and it makes sense or not. This is critical, this is critical thinking and this is reflection. Think that there are alternative ways to do things and they may be better than your way or the doctor's way. Be open to alternative ways of doing things. Be curious and get the best information while reflecting on a subject to ensure that you are making the best choices for yourself with the knowledge available for you. Journaling is a great method that is very helpful for self-reflection as well, allowing you to explore your ideas and opinions and develop them more thoughtfully. After every reflection, you should come to your own conclusions and from there you, you want to plan your future actions. I recommend reflection for every goal that you have made for yourself. Why do you have this goal? What does it matter to you? What will reaching this goal help you do and become? Are you honest with yourself about this? Are you being rational? How could you improve? And what if you changed your opinion? These are all very good questions for self-reflection on each field of life. Margaret J. Wheatley said that without reflection, we go blindly on our way, creating more unintended consequences and failing to achieve anything useful. As an entrepreneur, reflection is really the only way to make any real progress. If you don't reflect, you will not come up with unique ideas and you will tend to imitate or worse yet, come up with bad ideas that will lead to harsh consequences. For the most effective actions, you certainly want to take some quiet time each week to reflect, and I even recommend doing this daily. You can reflect while exercising, cleaning the dishes, folding the laundry, or while driving, but it is absolutely best to devote 20 minutes of every day to the process of self-reflection. Self-reflect on your behaviors, your choices, and your actions in all important fields of life, such as career, relationships, health, peace of mind, and purpose. You can assess your strengths, your failures, and think through actions and your interactions with other people. By doing this simple act daily, you will achieve most effective, effective action for your future. So as I always do with these videos, today I will provide you with a few questions to ask yourself so that the answers will help move your life to a better place for you. And the questions of the day are, in important life areas, am I really choosing the best option for me? And why am I choosing this option? And how would I improve myself if I chose to do things differently? And what things could open up for me if I thought differently? And should I think differently? And what would come out of my life if I thought differently on this matter? And what is the best option for me and the best option overall? And why should I do this? These are just a few questions that you can ask yourself for your career, relationships, spirituality, your health. These will help you to reflect on important matters in your life and open up your mind to new ways of doing things. So as usual, I recommend writing down this question, these questions and your answers in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure that you're moving your life in the best direction for you. 
And the affirmation of the day to close off this video with is I reflect on my actions in order to perform better next time. I reflect on my actions in order to perform better next time. Now you want to repeat this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because with repetition and affirmation has the power to completely transform your life for the better. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better level for you. Thank you very much for joining.